recording the stream just a little bit early tonight because kind of got something planned. Uh, we will be playing the N64 tonight. We will not be playing exactly the games you think. Uh, I mean, we are, we're going to take a break from GoldenEye this week because last week was not, not good. Um, I need to figure out what to do in that mission. But in the meantime, we'll just be continuing with Zelda because we are getting very close to being ready to beat the game. So yes, normally we don't start this early tonight, but honestly, I'm kind of in a weird spot tonight where I uh, didn't really have enough time to do anything else, so I'm just going to go live early. Gets a little more game time in. Now I need to remember how to do that song. It's not the prelude. Don't know who organizes this, so... A down A, right... Okay. Away we go! So yeah, I think uh, I think this week we are just going to start off doing this. We're going to we might do a lot of cleanup this week, and then about about maybe an hour in, we're going to switch to our secret game. But first, for something we didn't have time to do last time we were... Navi. That is a very square hole that bomb blew up into. Second last of the fairies. Never get tired of pointy boobs, do we? Blah, blah, blah. Great fairy of magic. We'll give you a magic spell that will be so maybe useful. Probably not, though. But it is blue, and I do like the color blue, so we'll take it. So we'll get one heart from this temple, which means we are missing approximately 16 heart pieces. So that'll be interesting. I gotta remember... Re uh, blah, blah, blah. I have to remember where they all are. I know we need the gold scale. That is something we have to do at some point, which means more fishing. But I figured we'd lead in this week by doing something that's a little bit more interesting, which is the Spirit Temple, because the Spirit Temple is just fantastic. But before we go in... Huh. I know we need, like, a beanstalk. Some... Oh, there it is. Yo, Incross. Yeah, I'm early. I didn't have anything to do tonight. I kind of did everything I needed to do, so I figured, ah, what the fuck, let's just go early. 
Oh, that's a way to do it. I really, I do wish I could solve this missing, miss, missing, missing texture glitch. It's kind of annoying. How are you, Ink Cross, by the way? All right, this is one of my favorite things to do. Wait, is it this one? There you are. Come get me, buddy. He's really unhappy in the background. Nothing really. Sure, cute girl. We can do that for you. Whatever you want, I mean. I hate Ganondorf. Cool. I looked at the new patch for FFBE, and the Octo patch looks cool. Sadly, I have a grand total of zero tickets. You and a lot of other people. Um, you're not wrong, though, Ink Cross, to do what you did. Axstar was a considerably better banner than um, Octopath. Octopath actually looks pretty mediocre for a banner upon early review. I mean, Octopath really looks like it has nothing special about it. Octopath has this kind of, you know, what do I want to say? It's got a tank, but if the tank isn't better than CG Sagheart or Wilhelm, it doesn't matter. And so far, it looks like it, it won't. Uh, he would, because... Uh, the real problem with getting a physical tank right now is that every physical tank comes down to one thing, evasion. So it doesn't really matter. And the other unit, Primrose. Primrose has to be better than um, both Eurasia and CG Nickel. If you have both or either of them already enhanced and maxed out with pods and everything, there's almost no reason why you need either of those units. Primrose's TMR is something amazing, but I would imagine the second uh, Octopath event will be much better. If, maybe, maybe, I should say that. Could I push and pull that badonka donk, you dragon? Sorry, I just kind of flash back to the text that was being spoken. She's got a lot of text. I'm gonna say yes, because I don't want her to say that all again. You know what else would be a big surprise? I'll get moving. Uh-oh, he's still mad. He's still mad back there. Gonna be real disappointed. <clears throat> hey kid, can you get in this small hole? Uh, what are we talking about? The camera was my worst enemy there. I would say you don't have to be too bothered about it at this point. I think you're pretty good. Axstar was the correct unit to spend resources on by a long shot. Axstar is just... Wait, is there... I guess I really don't need the beans, do I? That's a nice drop. I mean... To me, one of the big things, I think... Shit. Uh, one of the big things, I think, 
is that there will be a second Octopath event next month containing the other four characters we're missing. I am too small for you. Get in the... No, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... Damn it. A hitbox on this guy. Ugh, finally you die. Annoying, man. I'm interested in maybe if Ophelia is any good. I don't have a huge amount of hope for it. Alum seems very uninterested in putting a healer out that's actually worth spending resources on. That was a good throw. Hey, fifth time is the jump. But yeah, I don't think there is anything really worth rushing on. How do I do this again? I guess I just fire him. Well played. Run straight in without thinking. Is there another way to do it? Comboed. And that chain link fence did not protect him. It did protect him though. There's a very specific. Alright, well, fine. Bats are straight aggro. I guess that's fair. I hit a whole bunch of them through the fence. Uh, how did you get up there, sir? Ah, yes, that's what I needed to do in this room. We don't really need this, but we'll get it anyway. Still have to get the ice arrows too. That's going to be interesting because I do not remember how to get those. Ba -da -ba -ba. I mean, that's usually how I do it. Kind of depends on the cycle of where it is. Normally I can get away with it without getting hit, but. Not this time. I hear spiders.
It's really not hard in this game getting 50 gold skull to lose. Finding all 100 is a pain in the ass, but... And one that I don't think really provides anything, like, benefit for doing. Question is, can I remember where all of the... Hey, come on down, lizard man. Wait, there he is. Almost at him. Bad lizard man. I can't comment seeing as I've never seen any of the classic Zelda's. Oh, you totally should. You should totally play through these. They're absolutely a blast. Whoops. Great little puzzle solvers. Fun combat. Nothing overly difficult. Fun to play, though. Plus, you get to go, yeah! A whole bunch. Now well, we're just not getting that one, are we? Oh, right. I mean, okay. Can't get through there yet. Kind of need this. Or do we just push it off? For some reason, I thought that one came alive. Nope. Doesn't. Okay, I forgot that. Ah, yes. This room. That won't... Oh, no, it did. Anything? Nope, not a thing. Cheapskate game. Give me some bombs. Good news, if you like shing, shing, shing sounds. This level is for you. Also been noticed, I, I gotta say though, the thing that bugs me the most about Octopath's re um, reveal so far is uh, a lot of global people's behaviors in the threads where they're just like shit talking gummy and it's like guys if you're gonna shit talk gummy maybe I don't know wait for them to do something bad first and I get it gummy does bad things all the time but, feel like we gotta wait for the bad stuff to happen first sometimes before we get too negative. Shit. That was a little dicey, but we got there. 
Got to be really quick on that. Because we need the key. Otherwise, we can't progress. It's like, oh, yes, you can get through the door, but you need a key. Turn and fire. Totally missed. Nice. All right, mini boss time. This guy's pretty fun. Come on. Especially when he nails me. Wow, okay. I'm being way too greedy. Really, really just... Okay. I guess we got... This is Dark Souls now. Ooh, that was close. Oh yeah. The good news is is that uh, you can bait out his attacks pretty easily. Uh, it's really great if I can see what's going on though. I mean that's that's the nuts. The camera is my worst enemy here. Also hit boxes. Stop it. Also not entirely sure what he's saying. Che, che. Okay, now he's fast. He's almost dead, though. Almost dead. There we go. Being really cocky at the start of that fight. All the pillars either have rupees or hearts, so that's a good one uh, to do it. Just kind of got to get into the rhythm. It's the... Oh, fuck. Not you. No, 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 game. I'll just wait. I will wait for you to come to a screeching halt. Oh, damn it. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not this. We're in the endless cycle. We're in a time loop. Power to lift big things. I got some big things you can lift. Really, I, I do. You, you fiends, Ganondorf's minions! Oh no, they're stealing the hot girl! Bye, pointy boobs. Eh. 
and they buggered off. Well, Link's just kind of like, uh, nope, staying out of this one. No feet breaking this time. Thank you, Gross. <sighs> All right, so we're about the time when we normally would start the stream. So I'm sure that some people will be annoyed that I started early. It's like it's bonus content for you to come back and watch later. God, we have a pointy nose. Just a huge pointy nose. Giant fucking pointy nose. Nope. Nope. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot. There it is. Wednesdays are usually quieter. My Brave Axia streams bring in a lot of people usually lately. Well, 30, 30 is a lot of people for my streams anyway. But I'm okay with having some quiet nights too. Also because there's just not enough content to really do that many interesting streams about Brave Axia it feels like. There's a gold skulltula supposed to be up there, but okay, up, around, oh, there we go. Oh, okay, so we're only missing 12 heart pieces. There was over 50 yesterday? Yeah, I think it was because somebody hosted me. By the way, haha! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Come on. Aw, quitter. 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 Whoops. Uh-oh. Now I made him angry. Oh, his friend's angry too. Come on. Come on. A little closer. And he gives up. Oh, and then he's dead. That was very rude of me, but also kind of funny. And since it's a, essentially just an angry hopping rock, I don't feel that bad about it. I don't know why sometimes it paralyzes him and other times it does not. Also, nobody is dropping bombs. Come on. Come on. And he's gone. What a truly mighty puzzle. What could the Triforce just be there? Why would that be there? Yeah, it's really hard to have a blast without them. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy my Brave Actually the Screams, but... Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh. Bad dog. Oh, talking without bombs. You're right. Bombs are more important. Screw all of the regulars. 
Oh, right. This one. Does some interesting things with the camera angles. But I do get the pun. Don't get me wrong, Angross, I totally appreciate the pun there. Speed play that music. Hey, damage boosting. Look at me, I'm a speedrunner. I'll know when you don't when I finally get banned. I doubt I will ever ban anyone. If I'm not... Like, it would take someone to be really pretty damn bad to get banned. I mean, we timed out Chew Pop once, but that was about it. Oh, shit. Uh, I can my chances. Double O. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing this evening? I don't like weebs. I live in Japan, so... I don't know what that classifies me as. I've definitely been uh, to some anime districts. I've been to a maid cafe. Oh my god, that's shock. Okay, what is he made out of? Don't like weebs. Don't like weebs. C'est la vie. We not... I don't know, is this a weeb game? Oh, right, this thing. Well, that was almost... Whoops. Oh, we got two there. That was cool. I wish I could go to a maid cafe. They are expensive, overpriced things, let me tell you. I went with a bunch of friends once, and it was just like, yeah, tiny plate of food, 30 bucks, and I'm like, holy shit. You made a mistake, my friend. They're an interesting experience, but they are fucking expensive. Cute girls, though. You definitely pay for the cute girls. I want to go to the Final Fantasy 1. Uh, what do you do in Japan? Uh, I basically just, uh, you know, work. But um, I've been to the Final Fantasy uh, 14 Cafe in Japan. It is awesome. Amazing quality food. The Ifrit pizza. Oh my god, the Ifrit pizza is fantastic. Right, I need to do the boots. Get some speed. Here we go. Okay. Ooh. And now we drop the hammer. I'd never say never. Never is a long time. Don't like weebs? Nothing weeb about it. Just cool video game stuff. Um, do I need the boots? I don't think so. I think we can... There is a pot that tried to attack me there.
Yo, bad finest, how are you? I was there once too. Never managed to dine there though. Just visited the merch shop. Oh, you missed out. You really should have. It is, the food is just so good there. I know it's like one of those things where you're like, oh, the food can't be really that good, but it is. It really is that good. I have been multiple times and the food has always been really good quality. Yep. Interesting positioning there, Link. By the way, got to do this once. One. Oh! Huh. I forgot those were grappleable. Grap. Grap. Grappleable? Anyway. I'll take your word for it. Live stream it? I guess I'd have to periscope. That would be a good way to kill my data for the month. I don't remember what this is. Is this just a uh, heart? Five rupees. Just equally as valuable. Yet the door, the boobs are grappleable, but not the door. Okay, game. Whatever you say. Navi with her, uh... you know, we don't get to use bomb shoes that much. Son of a bitch! What was that? The bomb chew went right. Okay, never mind. I know why. This is a kid's game? Yeah, but it's a fun kid's game. Goodbye. Headshots. Oh, do I have to kill you? I don't think there was a key I missed back there. No, there wasn't. Jump, Link. Jump. Oh, this room. Shit. We're not gonna make it. 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 He's gonna jump. Never mind. We're fine. Doesn't really matter how old the game... Or who the game is for, so long as it's fun. Alright, round two. Yeah, I'm faster now. What you gonna do about it, huh? Oh, that's the wrong answer. That's the wrong answer again. Boop. That was meant to be a thrust, but... Boop. Yeah, it's easier when I have a better weapon. I'm just gonna keep booping him until he dies. Booped to death. Easy peasy. We've also played this game as a kid, but still love playing this. Just so good. Oh. Mirror shield, one of my favorite items in any game. 
really love this. Looks so damn cool. Whoops. Also, somehow all the pillars and stone walls got rebuilt. Don't know who did it, but somebody did. Also, I think there are two hidden chests back there, but... Or two chests, but I think we're okay. Hish, hello, how are you? How are you doing this evening? Really did look like bait. Nine fourteen a.m. Ah, so your day has just begun, whereas mine is just ending. A gift for you. I hope you liked it. Hey, Rob, how are you? I remember playing this as a kid and finding this absolutely effing annoying. And then you can, it just turns out you just, wait. Yeah, you just hook shot all the way up. And it's like, oh, that was easy. Also, if I remember correctly, there's a secret, yeah, right back there. Okay, one bomb drop is fine. Can't go there yet. Have to go over here. <laughs> Wait, did I... Oh, never mind. I do have to do this. Gotta get the big boss key. I was like, no, no, no. We don't drop down yet. Not until we have the boss key. I can only imagine this game is super annoying. Bad slime. Good at work, just, uh, and just lucky. Lucky? Oh, lucky, probably. Autocorrect. Get, get back here. By the way, I should mention, you guys, about Brave Axvius. I did apply to go to... Uh, one of the live streams. So, we'll see if that goes. Lurking. Ah, uh, same thing. Looking and lurking both start with L. Can't remember which one it's behind. That one. This game isn't terrible going in blind. It's actually fairly well designed so that it's challenging, but it's not impossible. Or at least that's what I feel. Like the water temp, some of the t uh, later temples are pretty difficult, but the game eases you into its difficulty curve really nicely. It's one of the reasons why I love Ocarina of Time so much, because it is just super well designed to be a really nice ramp of a difficulty curve. You know, when games could be fun, not just Dark Souls nowadays. No, I was ready for you. I was ready for you, too. Pots are evil, man. Lock on, game. There we go. I do enjoy it when the game's like, bad sound probably, probably means good things though. And it's just like, no.
I suppose so. I guess I uh, had a bad experience with Prince of Persia. What happened with Prince of Persia? Did it eat away most of your life? Okay. Position great. Oh good, another one of you. Yeah, you can have a free shot on me. It's fine. Push. And there we go. Like, I really like the shifting of the light mechanic. It's just pretty cool. Don't go for the trap tra trap treasure chest. Whoops, missed me. Pot's accuracy, 10 out of 10. But I always thought this was super cool. Like, lowering the thing down and using the light to break open this thing's face. Well, that kind of reminds me of Portal 2, since a lot of people couldn't do Portal 2 mainly because... Or was it Portal 1 or Portal 2, where it was like, most people had trouble doing some of the early puzzles because they just didn't look up? Alright, boss time. Easy boss first. Oh wait, the eyes those eyes disappearing was not supposed to happen. That's a graphical glitch. By the way, I love this. Huh? That's pretty swag. Just like, yeah, I can snap my finger and make axes appear. I'm just that cool. Boop. Okay, that was just greed. Come on. Come on, break open a column for me. I would like some help. And now the surprising thing, we were killing hot girls the whole time. Every dark nut in Zelda history has had a hot girl inside of it that Link has been killing. You've been trapped in that armor for seven years. You probably need a bath, too. Mind control in a kid's game. Yeah. I mean, no blood, but hey, if you got mind control in women, that's that's E for everyone. Alright. Okay, alright. Oh, I'm all excited. Here's one of the best boss fights in all of Zelda history. I love this fight. This fight is just cool and hot. Look at that stupid kid. He came on his own by himself to offer himself as the 
to the great Ganondorf. With my flame, I will burn him to the bone. With my frost, I will freeze him to his soul. Didn't you have, like, said ice? Not so much frost. Okay, here we go. Okay, the sister kind of moved out of the way, which was annoying. Nope, nope. Um, okay, that was my bad. I totally missed that. There we go, got one. They are really making it easy, though. She's totally out of there. Nope. Bad, 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 bad. They're not super cooperating tonight. Gotcha. That's three on the same character. Feel like I'm picking on her. Gonna be four on the same character at this rate. No. Okay, all right. Come back in range, please. All right, let's get let's move on to the second part of this fight, shall we? Okay, let's get serious. No, oh, she's hot. Slink suppression impression, not mine. Seriously, love this. Ice. Nice. Got a jump stab. Oh, shit. That's unfortunate. Well, now I'm not going up there. I just love absorbing the magic through the shield. That's so cool. Ice. Stop using ice. It's because I missed that one fire. Hey, that time we jumped properly. All right, now she should get trickier, which is fine. I want to use ice. Oh, 
Or maybe she won't. If you get a fire one, uh, it cancels out your ice, so you have to be careful. Come on. Thank you. That should be you dead. Yeah. And a cool jump slash to finish it off. And we, we straight killed them. They're dead. Shoot. What a fresh kid. This time we'll get serious. What? Yeah, we killed them. Hey, Colin, what's that over your head? I don't know, but you have one over your head too, Kotake. But I'm only 400 years old, and I'm only just 380 years old. We're twins, don't lie about your age. You must have gone senile. Who are you calling senile to treat your old sister that way? We're twins, how can you be older? Can't hear how heartless you are. How can you be so... That's going too fast. They're pissed. And they're dead. Come get me, girls. Easy and fun every time. Although that one uh, bad jump did suck a bit. All right, three minute cutscene. So you call the 400 year old lady hot? I mean, I call Citra hot. She's like, what, 700? Eh, could have been worse, I think, maybe. It's not like you were that much of a threat anyway. I like how a lot of the characters in this game have build up, but then this girl is just like, yeah, she, whatever. She's like a Gerudo or something. She might be important. Take it. Yippee-ki-yay. Then there's Sakura 2 and Volka. Volka is a straight 20 out of 10. If only I knew you had become such a handsome man. Okay, lady. First of all, Zora uh, Ruto. She's she's got uh, she's got she got Link, and then there's Zelda, and then Malin, and Malin's probably the canon one, to be totally honest, but whatever. Oh, whoops. Uh, finally, all six sages have awakened. Time for the final showdown after massive collectioning. Praise the collection. Okay. Haha, <laughs> you cannot get me up here. I'm invincible. It's 
Cutscene time. Here's some weird sounds. Oh. Sheik is proud of us. Now we put the controller down. <sighs> Time for our seventh inning stretch. The trifles, the sacred, sa sacred triangles. That if anyone sees three triangles, they're like, "Oh, it's the trifles." I will say that Miyamoto was essential. Yeah, it was Miyamoto who did Zelda. Uh, he was a genius for basically getting a patent on the triangle. That's right, the Triforce, the thing that was legendary, that was supposed to grant all wishes, actually kind of pieces out when uh, it wants to. Yeah, the Triforce is kind of a dick. It's not, it's kind of not very, like, I don't know, what's the word? Benevolent? It's just like, oh yeah, well, um, technically the plot says that we gotta split into three, you gotta find us. It's kind of like Dragon Ball a little bit, if you've ever heard of that. Good news is, is there's only three, not seven. Oh my god, oh, that's not surprising. Oh my god, it's chic! It's Pink Zelda! Who is arguably the best Zelda. I mean, other people might have difference of opinions, but... Um, Pink Zelda is just the best Zelda. I mean, there's anime Zelda. There's stern Zelda. Uh, there's lowly Zelda. Uh, there's 8-bit Zelda. And 16-bit Zelda. Uh, there's a couple of 3DS Zeldas, uh, there's Ghost Zelda, but um, Pink Zelda is definitely the best. Also, this is long enough to, all, this is almost long enough to be a Kojima cutscene. Nintendo is like, if we're going to have cutscenes, let's put them all in the same spot.
Also, I don't know what Navi was zipping over there to, but okay. And more importantly, the Master Sword sealed you away and created three different timelines just to fuck with Zelda fans. Hey, she waited seven years for you. It's gotta mean something. However, I still say that uh, Link should just go straight for Malin. Malin or Ruto? They seem safer bets than the princess. Oh yes, we must penetrate his defenses. And yet another playthrough where I decided to get the light arrow before the ice arrow. Well played. I love that expression on Link's face. That face gives me nightmares? I love that face. That's... I'm pretty sure that's a Twitch emote. Pretty sure it's a Twitch emote. Where is it? can't remember which one it is. It's not Pray R and Jesus. It's not low. Why did you come out of hiding? You could have just given us the light arrows as Sheik, and he probably would have never noticed. Also, some... Uh, I literally can't find it. To be fair, there are approximately 7,000 Twitch emotes. Well, Zelda is just going to be a crystal for a while. Sorry, Zelda. Hey, thanks, Evil Laughter, for the host. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Zelda's just going to be a crystal for a while. And that uh, probably sucks for her, but um, hey, she's going to stay young wa a while. Hey, I'm, I'm going to lurk in this stream. That's cool, LeBronston. I will just continually continue chatting to myself like an insane mental patient. Ba -ba 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 -da -da -ba -ba. Okay. No. Now begins cleanup. Which, cleanup is not super exciting. I will fully admit that uh, cleanup is just not that exciting. But there's kind of something we need to do here. Shit. 
He's not here. Bugger. I love cleanup. Are you insane? Are you mad? No one loves cleanup. Yeah, cleanup's fine. No way I'm not getting 20 hearts. Then I gotta get the final fairy fountain. We gotta get the fourth pot. And... Yeah, that guard looked at us strange. I think there's a couple other things we need to do, too. Well, time to screw with the universe. Yep. Playing around with the uh, fabric of the universe just to get somebody to show up. Technically, if we just kept playing the song of time, we or the sun song, we could probably age ourselves and everyone else to death. Love everything about the game except the beginning? What's wrong with the beginning? I'm curious now. Okay, this is... This is really difficult. This is, like, super difficult with the textures missing. It makes it super hard to know if he's in the right position. Also, he's kind of like a King Boo. When you look at him, he kind of stops moving. Okay, time to waste. Okay. Uh, there is something there. Try again. Twilight Princess takes forever to get going. Twilight Princess, the game really doesn't start till after you finally finish all those um, Twilight areas, man. Twilight areas in that game drive me literally crazy. I hate this mini game. This is... the worst minigame in this game. It's even worse when the textures are missing. Okay, Dante, keep draining my bank account. I mean, he's making a fortune off of us. He is going to be able to retire the Gravekeeper style. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit.
There's no others. It's only the soft dirt patches you gotta worry about. And the darkness does not make this super easy to find. Not another step. I think I'm too early, but... Son of a bitch. I'm really glad you're dead in the future, you know that? I don't want his pity rupees. See, I'm gonna leave that one to die. Was it seriously at the start the whole time? <sighs> I think I missed that one. Shit. That would be really funny if this was actually glitched and I could not do this. Well, thanks for walking right over it. Just glitched and I can't get it and it's like, okay. I'm done playing this today. This is the final boss of this game. I cannot stress enough how Dante okay he's not dead yet that won't be fun don't worry I uh, this may not be the most exciting but just wait you just wait, you. Just wait till we get to uh, our second game tonight. I think the second game tonight will be. Damn it, I collected those. I didn't want to. Dante, buddy. Shit. What did I get? Oh, one rupee? This guy's an asshole. Russian hottie factory? What? No, the second game is N64 related, but it is a game we have not played on stream yet. Should have saved before this. I feel like being Sarah Connor and uh, being like, there is no fate but what we make for ourselves. Uh, so I think the correct answer here is to kill Dante, take his shovel, and do the digging myself. He's going to die anyway. I really think that killing Dante is the correct thing. Oh, thank God. Okay, we win the video game. All right, that's it. We we won. We won. There's um uh, That's it. Uh, we actually won the video game. Now, let me think. Uh, ah, yes. I know where the next heart piece we need to get is.
Fucking Dante, man. Also, we still need to get the big Goron sword. Yeah, it turns out, LeBron Stahl, all we needed to do was just threaten Dante's life. Uh, let that not be a lesson to you, kids. Don't, don't do that. Just don't do that. Good try there, skeleton. I mean, I'm glad it worked. I'm a little sad I had to threaten uh, a non-existent person's life. So there's the heart, two heart pieces here, I believe. What other ones am I forgetting? Still got to do the ice arrows. Still got to get the big Goron sword. There's a mouse on screen. Get that out of there. There's the one from the gold, so... Uh, this is my memory test, apparently. Oh, right. There's, I think, another one from this, too, isn't there? Okay. Okay, it's only two heart pieces here. Uh, O O T frog. I oh wow this is actually going to be difficult. Yeah, this one I don't feel so bad about. I've always hated this one. Let me just move that out of the way. Wait, really? Damn it. I'm totally not cheating. I really hate doing that one. I am totally okay with cheesing it. Hey, Dima Keng Bongo. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? That's cheating? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I reject your reality and substitute my own. I guess there's the three heart pieces. Uh, there's the one in the top of the volcano. And there's the one there, so that's another two. That should put us at 18, right? Well, welcome to the stream, Demacabongo. I, I think I'm saying that right. Uh, here here on our channel, we, we try real hard to say the names right and fail miserably. Oh, right, there's one in Hyrule Field. I am? Cool. Because I'm missing... Okay, I'm only missing nine heart pieces, so there are three that I can get off of the plants. 
Uh, there's the one in Hyrule Field. There's the one from that. So that means I'm missing four. Crap. By the way, LeBron did totally don't feel bad about cheesing that song. Uh, that That is just not interesting to watch. That is basically uh, figuring out where the frogs are. And, yeah. That can just be a long, frustrating thing uh, to experience as well as watch. So, yeah. Wish I had a Bosch. Well, just get Awakened Rain. If you get Awakened Rain, you'll be fine. Oh, right, there's the one in the graveyard, too. What the hell was that? Nope, I forgot. Gladio is boring? Gladio is cool. Gladio will help you get the uh, HP one. Da 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 da. Okay. I still have Warrior of Light. Warrior of Light is good. Warrior of Light is good for a long time. I had Warrior of Light till I finally got 7 star Gladio. Use 7 star Gladio for a bit. Then got CG Sagheart. CG Sagheart is the just awesomeness. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the adult world. Then we're going to save and load our next game. And the next game is a bit of a surprise. So we're gonna we're gonna play a bit of a game here. We're gonna see if anybody in chat can guess it from its opening. Ugh. There we go. I really want Warrior of Light to get an upgraded version. <laughs> Avert your eyes, kids. We're going into adult mode. We're going into a hidden game. Okay. Alright, so end emulation all right guys so can you guess the game based on the opening sounds yo fabios what's the game Yeah, we're playing this. Yeah, I fucking love this game. This game is hard as nuts, but... Oh my god. Donkey Kong? Pretty close. <laughs> Classic rareware. Say what you will about any of the sequels, but oh my god, the first one is classic. And god, did ukulele just not be what I wanted it to be. <laughs> Gotta have some hype for the opening song, right? Alright, let's get right into it, shall we? I remember my parents bought me this game, and I played it for pretty much a week straight. Uh, do we want the Game Boy? I think we want Cookie Game Boy. Oh, we gotta go with the Game Boy. Who am I kidding? My whole childhood was like driving 14 hours from one province to another province. 
to see my grandparents, and the Game Boy was like one of my best friends. You know, because I was stuck in a car the whole time. And cell phones didn't exist back then. Oh my god, he's old. Yes, he is. Ooh, big knockers. Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who is nicest looking wench? I don't know. Why is Grunty any day? She really takes my breath away. Cough. By the way, that sound effect. Please finish the game and do the voices. Okay. Er, but there is a girl. What do you mean this cannot be? There's no one prettier than me. That was pretty obvious. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's got prettiest big balls. Oh, girl of all. Close enough. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's too... Oh, I'm messing up the voices. She's cute and kind. Conquers bad for a day after beating this? Possibly. We'll just go through the entire N64 library. Anything to keep me away from Quest 64. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I didn't really learn much from the opening cutscene. Uh, I think Tootie's got big balls and Grunty's jealous or something. Uh, sexism, dim account, bongo. Hi there, Tootie. Oh shit, I missed the link. When my big lazy brother kid wakes up, we're going on an adventure. It's totally copyrighted. Only girls. Well, Kazooie then, right? Wake up, I want to go on an adventure, jackass. Oh, I mean two. I, I might be ad-libbing a bit. If Duty thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be. Is that your brother flying in the sky? I'm an idiot. Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. I thought the mole was blind. Up there in the sky. I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Or ain't that shitty. <laughs> Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Whoa, hold on. We're getting... Uh, wait, what's the rating on this game again? PG? Banjo, wake the fuck up. I bet that was the first draft. Yeah, and then it got made into Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Banjo gives zero fucks. Let's get outside. There's trouble. Oh, free feathers. Oh, what a fade out. Okay, here we go. Oh, I gotta remember the controls, though. Alright, we can definitely jump. Why does he have a photo of his sister in his bedroom? Don't ask. Listen up, I'm Bottles, motherfucker. I'm Banjo, and here is my buddy, Kazooie. Sure is a strange looking buddy, God, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you, jackass. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. I don't know why I'm going southern with all of this. Calm down, Gigi. We'll get her back. Where'd you go? Feels good when he, and he looks at it. <laughs> press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves. Or press B if you think you're already good enough. We'd like some help. Explore this area and look for my molehills. Mainly because I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. And this is not a speed run. Uh, 
Hello again, let's start with camera controls. They're on the yellow C buttons. Wait, um... Th there's no yellow C buttons, Bottles. Bottles! Bottles! Fuck. He's not listening. It's kind of like Twitch chat sometimes. I wonder if this is how Rare intended me to play the game. Probably. Your jump could do with some help. Pow! What do moles know about jumping? I, I really gotta decide on these voices. We listen too, I think. Sometimes. Wow, come on, Feather. You can give him a hand. Why, I'll look silly. I know it. Jump and press A again in the air for a double jump. It's funny because it's true. Sometimes. Oh, look at us mastering basic controls. There's only one thing I'm worried about starting this game, and that is... I'm worried about the quiz show. By the way, if I really want to do the voices, I should be... If I really want to do the voices, I should be going... Oh, we can't get that. I'm a honeycomb. Uh, I'm for some reason totally okay with this. Fancy learning to swim underwater? Oh, sounds difficult. I'll get my fur wet. I'm a little bit... Uh, I mean, never mind. Use the sand and end the dip it dip it dip it dip it dip it. Yep. I mean, this should, in theory, in theory, be easier with a PS4 controller because the N64 controller back in the day was one of the most uncomfortable controllers I think in my. I've ever had the good pleasure of playing with. <laughs> Claw swipe. What is it? I must know. Simply press B and standing there while you're moving slowly. I don't know why you're asking this. You're a bear. Well, how about bird brain? Just try it, bottle boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. Fuck vegetables, am I right? Uh, okay. I want some moves too. Wait, what am I supposed to be? Oh, uh, whoops, I wasn't paying attention, game. Broccoli is good. That's what they want you to think. Am I just supposed to kill it with this again? Now try fierce... Oh, was that what I was supposed to do? I mean, I know I have these attacks. They're just locking me out for the... Die, Onion! Oh, okay, it's one more. Die, Onions. Soon we'll have soup. Time for Buzzer to learn a trick. It had better be a good one, Squinty. Try out the Ratatat Jump. Or Ratatat Rap. By pressing B in the air. 
Cauliflower! Oh god, we mushed it. Give me another bug eyes! That's rude. Kazooie is rude. Three more. This is a re this is just really good game design though. Like having the all the tutorials be essentially die. Mmm, I'm sticky tasty honey energy. I'm okay with you killing me. My sister has been captured. Her life could be in danger, but I need to destroy this carriage back. Well, you gotta be ready. Big barrage, uh, help. Uh, uh, at least I've got some late short stuff. Rude. Hold Zen and then press B. Ow. Try this move out on you next, Jam Jars. I don't think they like each other. All right, two more. And I think the other one is camera. I hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not. Tell me about flying, Root Muncher. Wow. That's borderline racist. I mean, we're 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 ignoring you now. You've you've served your purpose. I know there's isn't there another one up here? Uh, what TMR will you want in global? Probably a lot of the same stuff I have currently on JP side. Ow. OTK. I. I like how their face expression changes. I mean, so TMR wise, there it is. No, I only play JP because one is expensive enough, and I've talked a little bit about why I'm not interested in playing global, but one of the biggest reasons is Facebook. Uh, God, I do not want to do any of the Facebook crap. <laughs> Which one would I grind out first? Probably anything to do with evasion, like cyans. I mean, when you reach 1k. I might start a basic account, but I'm not spending any money on the global side. And I really hate dealing with Facebook. I don't know why the hell Global decided to do Facebook. There's nothing good about the Facebook. Oh, damn it. There you are. It's not as bad as you think. Um, I don't know. I used to have a Global account, and then my uh, Facebook account that it was attached to got stolen. And then I for, uh, lost the phone, and then I lost my Global account. I used to have a Global account, but I don't have one anymore. Okay. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Wait, that didn't rhyme. Rescue me, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Congo, push that switch. I'm tired being an ugly bitch. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Scrunchy. Power is on. Soon it will be ready. Franjo, help! Why the fuck are you doing tutorials? 
Uh, JP just uses a... Uh, LeBron still like that one. Um, JP just uses a transfer code. It's the easiest thing in the world. Uh, I don't think I've found any of those yet. I think I saw one near the lair entrance. Come back when you found it. Oh, I thought... For some reason I thought Bottles just gave it to us. What an asshole. By the way, I want to point out that Grunty is really shitty. Uh, all she had to do was essentially not just take this away and we would have been screwed. Aww, diggies are cute. Oh. Also, that's gotta be painful for Kazooie to eat those. Facebook really isn't that bad. I disagree. I've had... I, I, I'm definitely basing my hatred on the feature by some bad experiences uh, with Facebook, but I really just don't want to get into that again. I don't know why they don't... I, I have no idea to this day why LeBron said they just didn't use the transfer code system. It worked on JP perfectly fine. Facebook just adds a stupid level of complexity to it. The mole is underground. You couldn't see something that high. No, but why didn't the witch take it? May just test your wit. I was going to say test you, you little shit or something like that. Long story short, you got to be careful with rhyming. <gasps> First enemy! Die! Okay, we win. Yippee! You saved me! Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinzos on each world! We has to get a Jiggy! Things a bit slippy. Find me and I'll give you some nippy or something. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba. Thank you, Flip Method, for the host. Thank you so much. I'm a note, one of hundred in each world. Have fun collecting. I'm actually with the whole Facebook thing, but I hate the Facebook button in the game. Fold your friend list with level one reigns. I mean, I just, I, I've been with the JP side so long, I just love the standard method. It works fantastic. Uh, the producer are thinking about ways besides to do it besides Facebook. Yeah, it's really easy. It's called transfer codes. That bull is such a troll. I know he's a bull, but I think he's a troll. I don't have a voice for that one. Hi, Conga. Oh, you're playing right into my hand, Conga. for ten of us in each world. We'll help you through the witch's lair. Maybe. I, I, we just started bottles. Go away, man. Hey, that's Conga's orange. I can't hit you. Yeah, my orange is nice. I don't know where that voice came from. Chimpy help fat bear and ugly bird. Wow! Chimpy's an asshole.
Where are the eggs? Kazooie can learn to use us. Oh, so that's how birds get eggs. They pick them up laying around on the ground. See ya playing FFE. Have fun! I mean, just don't don't use Facebook. There's no reason to it. Besides, there's been so much shit with Facebook lately. I would not want to be associated so much with Facebook. I do like holding it down. Well, that was nice of him. He gave us a shit ton of eggs. Uh, you are not invincible. Oh, oh, sign him up for the mats. Oh, God, we killed him. Urg, bear, beat Conga. Give prize to bear. Uh, Conga, have good, um, generally good attitude about losing. <laughs> All right, three down. And then he starts throwing oranges at us again. Why? Yes. Incomboke'em. Whoops, which is the button for ground pound? Do I not have ground pound yet? I don't. All right, well, I guess we got to come back. Stop doing that sound effect. It doesn't sound good. Come on, bull. I'm not afraid of you. Mainly because when I get on the bridge, you can't hit me. Facebook has just had so much bad crap about data gathering and everything. I would just not want to use them personally also for that reason. It's a little spooky when your phone, when you're talking about something at one point, and then your phone starts giving you suggestions for that thing, and it's like, I did not talk to you about this. Um, you should not know about this yet. That one was pretty lazy. The Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with these. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold Zed and press the left C button to continue to hold Zed while moving Kazooie around with the control stick. I don't know what any of these words mean, but okay. Uh, the controls leave, uh, something to be desired. Uh, hello. You also need notes, too. Uh, the game talks about, um... I think the game does a pretty good job of talking about everything, but... You need to collect notes as well as the jigsaw pieces, otherwise you can only progress so far. Unless you're a speedrunner and you know how to break the game in half. Either way, this is the first level. Of course, we're going to collect everything. Also, I should remap my controls, so... You got served. Alright, we need to talk to... Bottles first. Bottles? There you are. 
Teach me my damn ground pound. I forgot what I was talking about. Gope, I don't like the sound of that. Banjo. Get used to it, nest girl. You'll be using it a lot. Whoa, Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Sweet, I don't need to talk to you anymore. That may seem rude, but... Hello, slow down. Never underestimate the value of a good egg. What were you doing in there? Oh, that's all five. That was easy. God, I wasn't even paying attention to how many we had. Uh, what's a good Esper for Riku? Anything that makes her more survivable. We do do mumbo's totems. Feed us with nice shit. By the way, um, when you get to... Don't kill this one just yet. Because... Cleaning this world up. Um, basically anything that helps her survive. You want Riku to still be alive. Uh, possibly Phoenix is pretty good, too. I don't know if Global has Phoenix yet, but... Uh, do we want to do the Termite? Yeah, let's do the Termite. No, 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 we don't want to do the Termite yet. Sorry. Okay, there was nothing back there, but it was worth a shot. <laughs> Only one left in this world. It's like another... I, actually, there's a hell of a lot left in the other worlds. Or in the game. This game was always good for having a... A lot of content. We want to wait and do the termite, or I mean, Mumbo's last, because Mumbo is something we need for another part of the game. So now we head back all the way back over here. Right into the bowl. I mean, okay, it didn't quite work. Yes, I know, Conga. Oh, right, there's not a ledge grad. Uh, any first impressions about the Octopath units didn't seem appealing to me. Uh, without seeing the data, Fabios, really hard to give... Well, without seeing the actual data of them, here's my first impressions. Um, the three-star is totally worthless. Um, normally I call them TMR fodder, but... That, that three stars TMR is just useless. Unless the EXP up is like 200%, you'll probably never need one of them. Uh, the four star depends on how much dodge it has, but if it isn't more than 20 or 10 sided dice. Okay. Uh, unless it's more than 20 sided dice or Noctis's ring for evasion won't matter. It really won't. 
me mumble, best shaman in the whole game. Trust me, me check code. Watch it, hot boy. Mumble's magic tokens hidden by which fine tokens mumble will help you. Banjo not good enough for tokens mumble magic. Look at sign. Bring more. Really? I know there's five in this world. I just don't remember where they are. Now we're gonna get all of these. I thought there was one behind Mumbo's hut, but I didn't feel one back there. Um, anyway. As for Primrose, Primrose is really just... Primrose is so dependent on what her percentages are, but she requires probably so much investment into her limit first. It's probably not worth it if you have you know, a lot of different unit. Like, if you already have CG Nickel or your Aisha maxed out, fuck you. Well, that was helpful. Uh, so the four stars TMR is totally dependent on what the percentages are. Um, Primrose probably won't be worth it for most characters because I doubt she's going to be the best buffer in the game. And even if, she doesn't seem to have a lot of support that the other buffers will have. So I'm not convinced about Primrose even a little bit without seeing the data. There you are. Need help on the story event bosses. For global? Uh, if it's global, I can't help you, but Fabio's probably might be able to. Uh, yeah, in my video, I basically said Primrose's TMR is god tier. Oh, Lebronsta, just bring any Axstar. Axstar can clear all of the story content uh, for the... If you're talking about the extra stages, the extra stage, uh, bring a Provoke and AoE Dodge Tank and Profit. And then the last one, all you need is to be able to put a decent amount of fire resistance in your find. Uh, Primrose's TMR is 40 spirit, 40% spirit, but not sure if the 40% is passive or a buff. As it can be over... Uh, it's probably like Rem Super TMR. Boobada. Mumbo's magic free to change back. You come when ready. That's what she said. Termite Banjo is pretty cute. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them. Oh yeah, our fashion sense is making all the bugs jealous. Whee! He's so happy. And then I screwed up. Primrose's TMR 100% is straight amazing. Uh, the problem is, is that the other five star really doesn't seem any better than CG Sagheart. As a matter of fact, based on the description, he sounds worse. And all physical tanks in Japan right now only Matt only really care about one thing: evasion. So I'm really not expecting. Get out of the way. Give me that cool backpack, or else. Or else what? You're not even aggroed. Dodge tank is a pain to get in JP if you lost that event, which gives the 15% and 10% evade. I mean, as much evasion as you can get is important. Evasion is just the best 
long-term investment in Brave Exvius. We're going to need those lives eventually. I'm missing three frickin' notes. Where are they? Oh god, this makes me... Ugh. I really don't like that feeling of falling in a video game. Are they here? No, but that's also good to find. I feel like I missed three on the side of a mountain somewhere. I did the challenge trial on the JP with 45% evade. Fortunately, he's good. Well, if you get Shine's TMR and Cyan's TMR, you can get up to 65%. If you ever get a Bosch, his TMR gives another 5%. Recently... There was another 5% from something else that you could get from a weapon. So it is possible to get 70% still. Ah! Fuck. Oh, never mind. I thought that changed us back. Fuck! Oh, wait, never mind. We're good. High is evasion as you can stack. Super important. There are other provoke units you can use, but evasion provoke or evasion cover is far more important than a strong tank. Alright, that's the first world completely done. And it will turn back or magic go. That's fine. We didn't want to stay as it anyway. Speed hopping. <laughs> I have Swordbreaker 5%, and you could use some Moogles to get four Cyans and Basha Shield, but that's a lot of Moogles. Yeah, well, uh, you gotta make those sacrifices. You gotta, uh, like, it's worth the investment. Just put the Cyans in uh, Chocobo Exploration, you'll get it in about a month. I think I'm a cat. You don't say, Shoebot. Not a termite? You could be a termite. I don't know why I'm talking about a termite, other than, you know, what we're playing. Cool. Into part two already. That door was easy you got past. Unfortunately, you're still an ass. Oh, first and last. Whatever. Love this guy. This guy's just hype. Terminator cat. Nice turn of, turning a phrase. That's fine, we have tons. Ah, Tiger Trove Cove. The true second level of the game. Hello there, young ones. I'm Brintilda. Brintilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. Couldn't you just go up there and kill her? Okay. Have you seen a baby panda? Yes, they're adorable. We have them in every room. Remember them well. 
young ones as they will help you to avoid a fiery fate. Press B if you'd like to hear them. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with salted slug flavored toothpaste. So, salt toothpaste. Okay. She also washes her hair with baked beans. That's a tough one to rationalize, but okay, game. And she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's Boutique. Should be a voice actor, Fabios? I don't think I could take it. So far, I've only done an hour, and this has been kind of tough. How bright your stupid shorts are. A target for my dumb cohorts. Wait, that didn't rhyme. Shorts, cohorts. Yeah, that's pretty weak. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Best elf voice. I mean, it's a 10. It's a solid 10. I'll take a solid 10. Arr. You found some notes, but you need more. Your sister is actually a whore. Wait, oh, something about getting through the door. Wait a sec, Umbra. Wait, what's wrong, Lebronsta? I can't hold on. I must keep playing. Wagon. Ahoy there, this be Treasure Trove Cove. Thar, there be two new moves for ye to find. Aw, Bottles is all piratey. Alright, is everybody ready? Yum, Snacker smells dinner. Oh, fuck it, Snackers! Oh, shit. This is the meanest creature ever. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Run, 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 run. Banjo, swim! used to play this game with one of my girlfriends, and she was just like, she loves Snackers so much. Humor is dark tonight? Hey, I love some dark humor every once in a while. Get... Okay, get out of the water. Get out of the water! Banjo! She just loved all the names and everything, the silliness of this game. Hey, this is Nipper's Beach. You got nothing without Nipper's help. There, I'm gonna kill your underling. What do you think of that? Whoa. Oh, shit. Um, do I risk it? No. Just go grab some health real quick. And then he dies. Banjo and Kazooie look really pissed there. Urgh! Just one. There was one that I really played N64 games with. We played Donkey Kong 64. And there was a part where we were playing through all the mini games, And those mini games have not aged well in Donkey Kong 64. Uh, specifically the controls. And... Ow. 
Oh shit! Oh god! It's Dark Souls! It was literally Dark Souls. Oh, uh, 2026, you bought. But anyway, we, we just enjoyed um, playing N64 games. And we had this thing where we would stay up till like 3 a.m. playing video games. Fuck. Die, crab. And so we just played a lot of N64. Nope. I waited too long. And she loved Banjo. Not so much Donkey Kong. She liked the mini games of Donkey Kong, but the problem with Donkey Kong is that uh, Donkey Kong is like, like I was saying, a lot of the uh, things in that game have not uh, aged well. Okay. This is not Dark Souls. This is not Bloodborne. Die. No, we just used to play, like, video games tons together. Um, I think we killed Nippers. Nippers is just gone. He shrunk into his sh shell and then disappeared. Uh, he literally evaporated. Okay, well, I guess Banjo's a murderer. Sucks, but there you go. I remember most of the worlds pretty well, but... Not everything. This is not Ocarina of Time for me. I was never that good at this game. And the quiz show... Oh, God. Was that shell a TARDIS? It was way bigger on the inside. Maybe. Captain Blubber's treasure. It very well might have been a TARDIS. Incidentally, I've been watching uh, a lot of the old Doctor Who on Twitch. Enjoying it. I have not seen a lot of classic Doctor Who, so... Getting to watch it for free is pretty cool. We just straight up murder shit in this game. <laughs> Banjo Tooie. Uh... It certainly is a game. I just don't think it was good as the first one. I heard you. Don't worry, we'll get you. I think there was some cool stuff in Banjo-Tooie, but I don't think it was as good as the first. Even for you, Burnt Brain, just stand on the flying disc and press E. Here's 25 feathers to help you and not fall out of the damn air. So, yes and no, Lebronsta. Uh, it's... And we broke part of his ship. Whoops, down we go.
I guess the question is now, do you like it? There we go, we got our income bulkum. Okay. Physics be damned. It was different. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. And he buggered it off. <laughs> like, Banjo 1 is just so classic. There is something about the first game that just could not be repeated. Like, Banjo 1 is just forever going to be a, just one of the best N64 games. I would say it's much better than uh, Donkey Kong 64. Great if I could get that last note. Ah, there he is. I guess we should unlock the new move first. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey will do all the work. Wow. Shade. Nice going, you've learned all the code's moves. Cool. Me leaky, no good for water. Can bear block hole with pebble? Uh, maybe. Leaky patched up, now all water be gone for bear. And fuck that mine. Get all the notes up here. And then in we go. You're wise looking, solve my puzzle, win my prize. I won't attack you and beat you in your eyes. Uh, shoot. Uh, where's the J? Oh, shit. Can you guess what we're spelling yet? I need another A. It's also on the, just, it's just on the frickin' wall. And then he attacks you! <laughs> Unfortunately for him, he was murdered. Oop. Can't forget the notes. Also, that's the bear paddle. Very clearly. By the way, uh, Shoe Pot, if you are still here, I am curious uh, if you heard about the uh, Hearthstone pre-release for the new expansion. Because I gotta say, I'm pretty excited about the idea of uh, pre-release in Hearthstone. 
Also, it turns out there is one near me, so I can go to it. Oops. Oh, okay, that just didn't work there. It made the sound effect, and then it was just like, nope, nope, you screwed up. Go back, do it again. Wait, there isn't anything just up here. There was, too. Banjo straight up murdering things. Here we got the treasure chest down there. Those feathers are really valuable, so you should always just grab as many as you can. How is Ico 7 Star? Cute! Um, Ico 7 Star is pretty cute. But um, useful wise, I mean, she is one of the stronger summons, but summoners. The thing is, is that. Uh, shit. Um, CG Citra is a thing, so CG Citra is just kind of a better summoner for a lot of reasons. Aiko gets hurt by the fact that she doesn't have any, uh, summon attacks. She's pretty good at removing debuffs, though, but it's just not quite enough. I mean, I would just use... if. For me, if I need a summoner, I'll just pick Citra. Sharks here. That was a fantastic flop. You gotta love it when you just totally blow the jump. Like, wasn't even remotely close. This world's a little less tight for me. I don't quite remember where everything is. I need that mumbo token, though, so... By the way, Captain Blubber just took all of his gold and was like, fuck this ship. It's not even worth trying. Oh, that was pretty swag. That golden treasure was for me. Harder still, the game will be. 
I once fell down and wounded my knee. Get out! No! Get out of... Oh god, he's got us cornered. Mmm, lovely. Banjo! God, that music is just terrifying. Ah, cheese and crackers, just wait there. Like, he's gonna straight up kill you. Okay, we gotta... Sorry, you gotta die. You shall die so we can live. Also, really starting to regret not wearing my glasses tonight, because I'm starting to get eye strain. I worked, so... Still missing 80. Uh oh, he's pissed. Uh. Oh god damn it. I have no idea where they are. Oh, there we go. Oh. Uh, we lost a life on this stage, so we best get a backup. Even though I think when we save and quit, it resets our lives. Oh, never mind. There they are. I mean, at this point, it's too late. The damage is already done! Coffee and mints, I'll be right over. I love Snacker's lines. Run away! Uh oh! God, look at him. He is just going for you. Like, that guy is just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, you're gonna get eaten. And I'm just like, no, 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 no. Uh, what's your ranking, arena ranking goal? And how much lapis do you spend to get there? I try and get any level that gives me a free five-star ticket. Which is about roughly around, lately it seems to be around 3,000 Lapis for that. Oh cool, we get extra health for just murdering him. Fair enough. Anything in there? Oh, damn it. There's a mumbo token. I think I've talked about how annoying I think the. Oh, come on. We were right there. How about you, Fabios? Do you have any arena goals this month? Okay, 17th time is the charm, apparently. Gotta watch out for the bomb. Uh, well, it kind of depends how many people are playing, right? Yeah. 
It would, I mean, that sounds really good, but I might be underestimating that a little bit. Uh, wait, where'd it go? Ah, oh, damn it. Then I missed it. Like, last month it was about 3k Lapis, but nobody was playing it because of that male-only bullshit. So it's hard to say. I mean, it's def- if- providing it stays that way. Uh, wanna play Final Fantasy XV on Fridays? That's a lot of streaming. Uh, uh, we killed him. It's somewhere between three and five thousand right now for a rank about for a bank a, uh, for about rank two thousand right now on the JP Special Arena. I would say it's somewhere between three and five thousand lapis, depending on how good you are about it. I'm kind of avoiding this week because literally almost everyone got Axtar and there are no restrictions. Just bring stop and element resistance and, or uh, some way to heal status effects and it's just like every other week in Arena. It's really haven't come across any super dangerous teams. God, I don't... If you fall and die from up here... Oh, jeez, it feels bad. I belong to you? I... Don't fall. Oh, God. Really sucks when you get all the way up here, die, and then it's like, well, there goes all the notes. Oh, wait, there's a witch's switch. I mean, so many people have Axtar, and Axtar is a low-impact unit on the JP side. Nifty. Axtar is really not good in Arena. Uh, it's the same thing as when you see Hayu. It's like, oh, a free Arena win. Or a free Arena. A free Arena win. Yeah, that's what Fabio says right there is probably good enough. Don't, don't fall, Banjo. I will literally beat you to death somehow. I will come in the game and beat you to death. Here comes that bloody shark. Well, most people still set up Axtar as being a true dual hand in Arena, and it's like, oh, well, then he's only ever going to do one attack. No CPU in Arena has ever used a double ability. The only scary thing in Arena is just like every other week. It's um, Noctis. Sure, whatever. Got me out. 
That mine is just ready for us. There we go. Okay, now if we die, it's alright. So where the hell's the last Jinjo? Jin Jinzo. Jinzo is a card in Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, a lot... Here's the thing, Ink Cross. I think a lot of people are going to be spending their lapis... A lot of people have spent their resources on the 10k bundle. A lot of people have spent uh, their resources on Axstar. A lot of people have will be spending their resources probably on Octopath, because Octopath is really popular. So I think that um, Arena should be pretty tame for most people spending. Just because a lot of people are playing the game doesn't mean that they will be spending a ton on Arena. Oh, hi. So we're literally just missing the Jinzo. Jinjo. Does anybody remember where the purple Jinzo is? Jeez, this is close. Spent all my resources in 10k lapis and plenty. I mean, yeah. People spent a lot on arena or on uh, things other than uh, other than arena. So arena will be a lot. I think arena will be tough this week for a lot of people to spend a fortune on. There's just other things to spend Lapis on instead of five-star tickets that don't really give you that much. Seriously, where the hell is it? Wait, is he down here? Shit. Get out of here, you. Um, seriously, we're missing one Jinjo. Where the hell is he? Got the blue one over there. Is he in the water? I gotta look this up because I need to end the stream, so I need to find out. Jinju location treasure trove code.
I just can't see where that purple Jinjo is. Uh, purple Jinjo is on one of the pillars where the shock pad is used. Really? I guess this is faster. It's not purple. Oh, it's blue! Fuck, I know where blue is. I thought we got blue. So, Lebronsta will probably... Oh, this is the worst one to do. Now we gotta do this twice. It means two hits, but. Alright, two worlds fully complete. Is Shoepot giving you some trouble in the water? Wait, is Shoepot Snackers? Alright, so that's it for me tonight. Uh, we're going to save and quit. Uh, this is something to remember. If you don't save and quit, your game data is gone. Some people have found that out the hard way. But we get the special ending... Banjo's game ends in my tower. Turn it up. I need full power. Yes, guarantee shift transformation become complete. Help me, Banjo! I feel all funny. Pretty beer finish. Grunty wins. Damn. Oh, 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 I'm much prettier. Holy shit, Mambo! Like, fuck you, asshole! What the shit? Boy, did he change sides quick. Banjo, poor sister, watch a word with you. No. All you gotta do is exaggerate the voice of Shoebot. Wah wah, we lose. Arr. Now I'm gonna make sure it's I actually saved. Hop two, three, four. Empty, empty. Oh my god, empty! Oh wait, never mind. Yeah. Still playing Game Boy even 20 years later. Alright you guys, so that's it for the stream tonight. However, we will be streaming tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to be streaming um, Cuphead. Uh, we're going to try and make a play to finish Cuphead this week. Girl like with a guy like me. Eh? 
So, yeah, tomorrow night we're going to be trying to finish off Cuphead. If we do finish off Cuphead, then we can start something new. Um, however... No, I just make a joke. I don't get it. But if we finish off Cuphead tomorrow, the problem is, is that Cuphead, I really want to beat the robot on normal. Then there's King Dice and the Devil still to go. So, beating it might be difficult, but we'll give it our best shot. And by will, I mean I'll give it my best shot. So that's all. <laughs> Never mind. Come back tomorrow, Shoepot. Make that joke. Make that joke. All right, you guys. Take care. I will see you tomorrow. From me and Banjo, all you guys have a good one. See you next time.